It's 16 past two. It's a cold day today here in Sydney. The weather is definitely changing. Now I did promise you a couple of days ago that I would read to you my sister's dentist story. It's actually called The Root Canal and I've got it here ready to read. So this is gonna be me reading my sister's short story as promised. The Root Canal. Despite six monthly checkups at HCF, it seemed there was a problem. I went back twice within a fortnight to be told there wasn't a problem. I took some Panadine for my non-existent problem and found another dentist. The words were whispered and it was what I'd been dreading, root canal. We would start at once. Having all the nerve endings from my entire body culminate in my mouth, I braced myself. The dentist explained the procedure. I wished he'd stop. More and more information with key words like rods, medicine and metal wedges. I felt like a car going in for repairs, an old car. The chair reclined and he began. I put on the complimentary sunglasses and shut my eyes very tightly. There were hoses and suctions and metal tools and little hammers. A drill was started. It was very loud. In fact, I wish I'd taken my earplugs. The dentist kept me up to date with progress reports, but I couldn't answer back, even in the question section. The tools changed. Bigger tools were used. The circular saw was being prepared. It was very noisy. I hope some of the noise was coming from the upgrade to Janelli train station. However, I feared all machines creating the noise were in this room, in my mouth. There were rinsing out sections and a couple of x-rays thrown in just for a mini break. The dentist leaned over very close to me. His stomach rumbled. I wondered if he might have given up breakfast for Lent. I hoped this would not impact his concentration. He seemed quite young, so he's probably up to date with current trends in the world of dentistry. He'd probably read Teeth magazine at home to keep ahead of developments. Something hot was being prepared. I was too scared to open my eyes. Suddenly a hot section on my lip, a souvenir. The handle of the hot tool landed on my lips. I could have used bad language. I could have used bad language. However, my mouth was full of cotton gauze. I wondered how long this might go on for. Suddenly the courtesy bib was being removed. Suddenly the courtesy bib was being removed from around my neck. I was free to go, but I have to come back with my eye patch and earplugs, I decided. I stumbled to the chemist and slurred that I needed the strongest drugs available without a prescription. The chemist eyed me very suspiciously. Woot canal, I offered. She found some drugs and I bought them. I smiled and dribbled a little. Now I am home full of drugs and a nice cup of tea. No more chocolates for me. I will, low, I will lie low on the sugar intake until Easter. <laughs> and that is my sister's writing. She's quite good at it, as you can see. She's got the skills. I, I gotta say, I think when I first read that, I thought that would look, I thought that would work really, really well as an animation of some sorts. So if there's anyone out there that can animate or that like to, would like to try animation, animate a character going to the dentist and have someone, not me, have someone that can actually read, read this short story over this animation. I think that'd be super cool. Yeah, my sister's got a really great way with her words. Like I said, she's writing a novel, but these little pieces here, they're just little snippets of day-to-day -day life. And, and that one was quite funny. There's another quite, there's another funny one in there as well. Um, maybe I'll read to you again sometime if you would like to hear it. But that